Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about how you can be a copycat investor. You don't have to be the smartest person in your class to get the right answers. And when it comes to investing, it's actually okay for you to copy what someone else is doing. And today I'm gonna to talk about how you can invest like a billionaire or a millionaire or some successful person that you know that owns a business. You can copy off of them and get the same, if not very similar results with your investments. Many of you have heard of billionaire investors and millionaire investors and owners of business like Warren Buffett or Elon Musk. And some of you may even think to yourself, you know, I wish I could have got in on this specific investment or being a part owner of this specific business. And there are actually many ways that you can do this. And I'm gonna talk about four specific ways that you can get in on someone else's idea or on someone else's investment portfolio if they're a billionaire or, or a large millionaire investor. So the first strategy is if you wanna invest like a billionaire, you wanna invest like Warren Buffett or Ray Dalio or Bill Gates or Bill Ackman or any other billionaire that invests money for other people, you can actually invest in the same stocks that they're investing in and it's public information. So each quarter, any person that invest over $100 million or has over $100 million in assets under management, AUM, they have to report those investments to the SEC through a 13F filing. And this 13F filing is actually searchable on the SEC website. So all of these billionaires and hedge fund managers, they have to report this to the SEC and you can actually read what they're investing in, what they're buying, what they're selling four times a year just by searching on the SEC website. And so while you may not be able to get in at the exact same time as these billionaires, you will at the very least only be three months behind whatever they're buying or whatever they're selling. And because they only have to report this once per quarter, this means technically that someone could make a report today and then the next day they could buy or sell and you wouldn't know until the next 13F has to be filed at the end of the next quarter. But if you're following someone that's a long-term investor like Warren Buffett, he's gonna invest for many years down the road there are very few instances where he may buy and then sell something within the same quarter. So you know, even if you're three months behind Warren Buffett, he's holding for five, 10, if not 40 or 50 years down the road. And if you wanna make this even simpler and you don't wanna do a search on the SEC website to find these specific filings for specific people, there are some apps like M1 Finance, which actually create these portfolios. They take a look at the SEC website and then they put together a portfolio within their application so that you can copy what these other billionaires and hedge fund managers are doing. And so right now, if you were to sign up with the M1 Finance app, and I'll have a referral link in the description for you to use, you can actually buy all of the stocks that Warren Buffett currently owns today, just through a few clicks within the M1 Finance app. And with as little as $100, you can start an account with M1 Finance and every week or every two weeks or every month you can add an additional $25 to your account and it will buy all of the stocks that Warren Buffett currently owns. And as he continues to make changes whether it's a buy or a sell in his portfolio the M1 Finance app they will update that portfolio so you don't really have to do anything all you have to do is to continuously put money into that account and it will buy and sell whatever stocks that Warren Buffett buys and sells each quarter. So strategy number two for investing like a billionaire is by hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel. Partially kidding, but you get the point. So the real number two is investing in index funds. And now while a lot of people think of investing in index funds, they think that it's very boring. They think that it's something easy to do and that, and that you're not actually gonna make a lot of money via investing in index funds. But usually anyone that's saying that, they're probably trying to sell you something. When you invest in index funds, you're investing in hundreds, if not thousands of different companies that are publicly available for trade. Not only that, but billionaires actually invest in index funds as well. Actually, Warren Buffett, one of the greatest investors of all time, he recommends that the average investor actually invest in the S&P 500 index fund. And then there are many others that invest in the total stock market index fund, or maybe a specific technology sector or healthcare or things like that. You can pick specific sectors to invest in with your index fund, or you can invest in the S&P 500 or the total stock market. And so most of the billionaire investors and millionaire hedge fund managers, their job is to actually beat those indexes. 
and nine, over 90% of those investors can't beat the S&P 500. And so if you can beat over 90% of professional investors just by investing in an S&P 500 index fund, then that is the way to go. And it's an easy thing to do. You don't have to do any research. You just keep buying that index fund every time that you wanna put money into the stock market. In fact, just this year, Warren Buffett, who has always recommended investing in index funds for the average investor, he bought into the S&P 500 index fund when everything was going down during the crash back in, back in March of 2020. So another example would be David Tepper. David Tepper is a billionaire hedge fund manager for Appaloosa Management, and he's also the owner of the Carolina Panthers. And David Tepper regularly invests in the QQQ, which is the NASDAQ's version of a technology ETF. And so if you wanna invest in the NASDAQ, which holds hundreds of different technology stocks, then just by investing in ticker symbol QQQ, you can invest in all of those technology stocks and you can get the gains that many of these individual technology stocks that you typically see getting 5%, 10%, sometimes even 20 or 50% gains in one day, you can get that just by investing in that index fund and you don't have to do the research on those individual stocks. Now we all know that technology is pretty much taking over all aspects of our lives. And so investing in technology is a very smart way to try and beat the market and then also get those gains and you're investing in other people who are great investors or great thinkers, people like Elon Musk who are doing great things with electronics or some type of technology. Now another technology ETF that you can use is Vanguard's version of the total technology sector, which is ticker symbol VGT. And so with that ETF, you're actually investing in every publicly traded technology company just by investing in that one ETF. Now index fund investing is also very popular among people who are millionaires. Just your everyday working person who has saved up their money and invested that money into the stock market. The easiest way to do it is by investing in index funds. One, because you don't have to do a lot of research to invest in a total stock market index fund or an S&P 500 index fund. And then you can focus on whatever your day-to-day -day job is or if you're a small business owner, you can focus on those things instead of researching individual stocks to invest in. And in the book, The Millionaire Next Door, they talk about how a lot of people who are just regular people who eventually become millionaires, most of them invest in index funds. And it's an easy set and forget it approach where you don't have to actually pay someone to invest for you. There is a small fee for most of these index funds, and that's just for the management of the fund. But with a lot of these ETFs and index funds, it's less than a 1% fee per year. And if you're getting a company like Vanguard, which is typically one of the lowest fees out of all of the index fund and ETF providers, then you can save even more by having that very small fee for that index fund. Now, another group of people, if you've ever heard of the FIRE community, which is the Financial Independence Retire Early community, many of those people invest in the total stock market index fund, where you're actually investing in all of the publicly traded companies in the United States. And so while many of those millionaire and billionaire investors are trying to beat the total stock market or they're trying to beat the S&P 500, you can get the exact market return and you're still beating out 90% of those investors. And so essentially you're copying all of the publicly traded companies in America. You're not only copying them, but you're becoming a part owner in that business, which goes into number three, and that's by piggybacking off of other business owners. So technically, when you are investing in a stock in the stock market, you are becoming a part owner of that business. But that's not the only way that you can piggyback off of other business owners. This can also be done on the local level and many different levels before a company actually becomes a public company. So if you think about on the local level, if you have a friend or a family member or maybe a coworker who's starting a business, you can actually loan them money or you can buy into their company by giving them startup money and then becoming a part owner in their business. While this is on a local level, it's the same thought process as far as investing in stocks. The only difference is that a publicly traded stock has already proven that they can make money with whatever their idea or their product or service is. Whereas if you were investing with a friend or a family member, maybe they haven't proven it yet, or maybe they've only proven it on a small local level. However, this allows you to piggyback off of their idea, essentially copying their business just by providing them the funds that they need to invest into their business. So another way to invest early, another step up would be to invest in another startup of maybe someone that you don't know. 
And there are many websites where you can actually invest in startups in the early stages of the company. Now these may be larger companies than maybe your friend or a family member, and it may, may be someone that you don't know, but there are websites like WeFunder and SeedInvest and Republic where you can actually look at companies that are looking for potential investors in their private companies before they become public and before, usually before they've gotten really big. And so while there is inherent risk in investing in smaller businesses in general, every company starts off as a startup. And so if you want to invest in early, you could have some really great returns if this individual company were to become a very popular product or service. And then eventually, maybe many years down the road, they could be a publicly traded company and then you can make even more money when they go into an IPO. And so again, investing in early stage companies and startups, there is a lot of risk when you do invest in smaller companies or companies that are just getting started because you don't know what's going to happen with that company, whether people are going to find this product or service useful. And even if they do find this product or service useful, it doesn't mean that the owners of the company are going to manage their money properly in order to create the growth within that company. And also when you're doing this, you can't get an immediate return from your money. These companies do not pay dividends and you may have to wait five or maybe even 10 years before that company eventually maybe, maybe goes public. And so with this third option, it does take a lot of patience. And if you're thinking about trying to get an immediate return, then investing in a startup or investing in a friend or a family member, it may not be for you. And last but not least, investing in yourself while taking knowledge from other successful people. And so investing in yourself, that can come from traditional education like going to college. It can come from learning a trade or learning a specific skill that is sought after by other businesses, or it can be from you starting your own business. And there are many individuals, whether you're learning in a classroom or you're learning from another business owner, these are lessons that you can learn from those people and from those situations to where you can in, you're can you essentially investing in yourself by learning this knowledge. And there's also books that are written by people that are very successful, whether it's a trading strategies or whether it's how to open a business, whether it's how to save on taxes, no matter what the case is, there are many people that have written books where they have taken years of knowledge and skill and their failures and their triumphs, and they've put that into maybe a 200 or a thousand page Page book and you have all of this information available to you so that you can either copy what they did or you can take a look at where they failed and where they were successful and then you can use that information to help yourself. And so just like the other three options that I mentioned before, whenever you're investing, whether it's an individual publicly traded stock, whether it's an index fund, whether it's a small company like a startup, or whether it's investing in yourself, you always want to take a long-term view because the more work that you put in, whether it's investing in yourself or investing in a stock or researching a stock specifically, the more likely you are to get a good return. And just being patient a lot of the time is going to determine whether or not you're going to be successful 5, 10, and even 20 years from now. So even the billionaire investors like Warren Buffett, none of these people became billionaires or millionaires overnight. It took many years of taking a specific formula, something that was working well for them, and then continuously doing that on a regular basis for many years and many years and many years. And so while the only way you could become a millionaire overnight is winning a lottery, which I wouldn't recommend, or maybe winning the Yada Savings Account jackpot, more than likely the probability of you becoming a millionaire or billionaire overnight is slim to none. So it's better to find out a formula that works for you or copy a formula from someone else and then get the same, if not similar results from the growth that they have. So with investing and learning from other people's triumphs and their mistakes, that's the only way you can actually copy what someone else is doing and it's okay. It's not like when you're in a classroom. So go ahead and copy away. If you want to invest like Warren Buffett, there are options for you. If you want some of the gains from Elon Musk and people like Bill Gates, there are options for you to do that by investing either in their companies or investing in groups of hundreds or thousands of stocks by investing in index funds. So let me know what you think about these four strategies, which one you prefer, and it, whether or not you knew that you could copy many of the investments of these billionaire and millionaire investors. And if you'd like to sign up for M1 Finance, again, I'll have a referral link provided in the description below. If you use that referral link, it does help out the channel. So I'd really appreciate if you do open an M1 Finance account, make sure you use my link below. 
And if you want to take a shot at the Yada Savings account lottery, just $25 gets you into a weekly jackpot for a chance to win $10 million while not losing any money because it is a savings account. Or if you'd like to receive some free stock just by signing up for an account, I'll have a referral link to Webull, which is an investment app that all you need to do is deposit $100 when you open our account and you'll receive two free shares of stock just by using my referral link. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a current member of the mobile money nation all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below hit the like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell to so be notified the next time i create a video again thanks for watching have a great day